Uh, we're the Kilkenny Traveller Community Movement and it's a community organisation for travellers in Kilkenny and we have two homework programmes in Kilkenny. One here based in St Catharines, which is a halting site in uh, Kilkenny and then there's another halting site on the, on the other side of Kilkenny called St Mary's and we have 40 children coming in every day to get help with their homework and we do other recreational and social activities with them as well. I'm Paula Layden here yeah, and um, I work as a volunteer at one of the homework clubs at, at, in Kilkenny which is in Wetlands St Catherine's Halting Site. The homework club runs for primary school children in Kilkenny who live in Wetlands and that's mainly the Carthy families who live in Wetlands. So it's structured in the sense that the youngsters who finish school at, um, at two o'clock they come first, so we take them in batches so that they always have proper one-on-one -on -one attention. Mm -hmm. So we'd normally take them, say, in batches of three. There's two full-time people in the homework club, which is Mickey and Emmett, and then some volunteers. So I'm just a volunteer, and I only go there once a week. So it's, it's really to give the children that one-on-one -on -one attention when they're doing their homework before we release them, and they're very happy to be released <laughs> after doing that. <laughs> I'm uh, Mickey Flynn, and this is Emmett Lynch. Uh, we work here in Wetlands uh, Community Hall. We have the children with their homework most days. We go off on little trips, try to integrate into society a bit, show them there's more than the site. Uh, in life, try to open their minds a little bit to other opportunities, try and show them things they might be interested in for in the future, like. The, in regards to work and stuff like that. Emmett here also runs camps in the summer for the children. So he brings them off for two weeks. Goes. We, yeah, no, we do lots of stuff. We do um, kind of arts and crafts, different sports and everything. We do it out of the St. Patrick's Centre, which is just up the road there. And um, we bring them off then on a trip on the Wednesday down to Waterford. And just show them around and uh, bring them to uh, a little water park there as well. And, and just show them about the Damon Rice summer caps, about what they're about doing, which is kind of giving back and, and everything. So kind of what we're doing here now. So I am, um, I suppose I organised for Owen to come down to do the storytelling session. Just when he became Children's Laureate, he put out a call to people saying, I'm going to be going to different parts of the country. Tell me if there's somewhere you'd like me to come, which is quite a nice approach. So I put in an application saying, why don't you come to Wetlands? And this is what it is. It's a homework club um, run by the Kilkenny Community Traveller Movement. And the kids would be delighted if you would. And I suppose I outlined to him some of the issues at the site. So I was delighted when they came back and said mine was one of the ones selected because I think a lot of people had written in. So I was delighted. He's doing a tour, storytelling tour for uh, a national storytelling tour called Once Upon a Place. And he, so he goes around and meets different groups. It was a great opportunity because he's, he's a very famous author and he's very funny. And, um, and he was interested in doing it, which is great. So. so my grandmother used to come over every week and she would have in her hand a piece of tissue paper and she would open up her hand. And then she would open the tissue paper, and in the tissue paper, there was only one jelly baby. Do you like jelly babies? Yeah. Well, we love jelly babies, but she only had one. And then she would sing a song, and she would sing, Who's the best boy in the world? And if you said, I am, then you got the jelly baby. But my brother always got the jelly baby. And I'll tell you why I got it. Because just when I was about to say, I am! He would grab me around the neck and put his hand over my mouth so I couldn't say it. And then he would say it. Oh, yeah. He would get the television. It was a good success. I think he connected with the children. You know, they, they listened to him and they enjoyed the story. So, um, no, he's very funny. He's, he's a very funny guy. I thought um, uh, uh, what he was trying to talk about was about families and about, uh, you know, people having big brothers and big families because, like, travellers... You know, the traveller families have that, you know, they're, 
they're part of big families and they have big brothers and big sisters, you know, that's their experience mm -hmm. that they have lived and um, he also came from a, a big family and I thought that was interesting, the, the, the parallels, you know, their in lives. You know, for the, for the children to see that, you know, what they're hearing is worthwhile or, or for people to visit the site, you know, because they don't have many settled people mm. coming to visit here unless they're working here. So it, it's nice for people to come to drop in and see them because they, they are cut off here, they are isolated. There's a huge big wall built behind the site mm -hmm. um, separating them from the houses there. They're outside of the town, you know, they're, mm -hmm. it, it's, kind of, it's kind of in the country, kind of in the town, but they are isolated geographically here. But they are, in, in school, they are integrated, they're fully integrated in school and, you know, they would have school friends. Not much happens out here for the children, so stuff like this is really appreciated, you know, so our funding is not that much, so we try to spread it out as much as we can, so when we get volunteers to come in just like Owen did there and Paula there, it's brilliant, it really helps us out there. Who's got a horse? I do. I have a horse. What's your fault then? to improve literacy and uh, you know their literacy some of the kids there isn't there isn't a tradition of, of books in, in their houses in their homes which is a pity but there is a storytelling tradition which would be very strong and they you know there is an oral storytelling tradition so that's why we, we you know that's what today was about it was, it was about listening to a story and mm. um, we are trying to work on literacy as well and, and you know, telling stories. We want to get the club a little bit bigger. Our facilities are bigger. They're small enough. We have no kind of playroom for the kids. We'd like to make like a summer or a pool table, you know, dartboards, televisions, couches, somewhere the kids can relax. You know, in there it's like, it's just too small. Homework. It's always noisy. It'd be nice to have somewhere to go while the other kids are doing their homework and stuff like that. Because we also use that facility for cooking for dinners as well. So we had a bigger place, you know. And now the houses are getting built behind this. So hopefully that will help the kids out a lot more as well. They'll have their own space. You can see some of the girls now are getting to that age. They're going to get some privacy. Need their own privacy. They'll have their own privacy now and hopefully that will help them. Okay. Grow up a little bit faster and, you know. <laughs> I'd hope for a number of things. One is that... Um, at the moment, wetlands, which has been one of these temporary halting sites for 30 years, which is nothing temporary about that, but houses are now being built there. They're in the process of being built. You probably saw them. So it's, I suppose, number one, I hope the Homework Club will continue because I think it's very valuable. I think it's doing very valuable work. Um, and secondly... I would like to see increased support, I suppose, for the families, as well as just the children, but the families in that area. And obviously, I'm just talking about a particular area. Uh, you know, there's lots to be done in the broader scheme of things. But in that area, um, you saw what some of the conditions are like that I would like to see increased support for that and I think that is happening I think the Kilkenny County Council uh, are working on that and we're working with them to develop a horse ownership project there which mm -hmm. we hope will kind of be almost there by the end of the year we're hoping that so I suppose just for the homework club I'd, I'd like to see it continue the the person who is running it Mickey is fantastic and doing an, an amazing job. He's actually, you know, he is seeing results from just that little bit of intervention. So I'd hope that it only grows and develops.
Mm. In the crash, he finds a gun with uh, Mickey and Evan and Claire and uh, Paul. He just left there a month ago, and uh, we find we find we find a good. We find a very comfortable helping us with our homework and all, and. Um, Yes. He helped, he, he always give good help. And I'm here nearly two years, and it's been running on a year now. Running on a year this September. Yeah. yeah. So, we came here now, we didn't know any of the kids when we started, but we know them all now. All their little habits, all their little madness. They're actually very, they're a lot of fun to work with. Yeah, they really are, yeah. There's more good times out here now than, you know, yourself, there's a lot of fun. Most of the time. Sometimes there's challenging behaviour, but should we get over that? <laughs> Well, we're after getting through them. Brittany. 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 There you go, there's one example. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, when we go out for their walks and stuff, they know how to behave. Um, I just want to say, um, Mickey always um, brings us off Castle Park. Um, he brings us off, um, Mo brings us off to the Eddie Rice camp. And um, um, Mickey brings us off somewhere special horse for you. Well, there's a message I'd like to give out. It's like to be like settle people. It's like if when you see a traveller child, right, just think twice. They're all, they're just children, you know. We're all, all children are the same. They like, like messing, like playing. So don't always always think about the worst. Give them a chance. Yeah, exactly. Because they're great kids. Yeah. <laughs>